Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Megan. I am a young mom to a four month old baby boy named Rowan and we do a lot of motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. So welcome. If you've never been here before, I would love if you would click that subscribe button down below so you can be a part of our little community. Today I am filming a Q&A which I'm really excited about because I haven't done a Q&A in like a hot second. Oh my god, it's so good. It's tea. Why did I say it's tea? Like you might think it was vodka or something. Anyways, I asked you guys for questions on Instagram and on the YouTube community page and y'all had questions. So I'm going to get through as many of them as I can today. I really, really wish that I could answer them all, but I only have until Rowan wakes up from his nap, which is probably going to be about a half an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Okay. Somebody asked, what did you study at college slash uni and how does it relate to your work now? I actually got this question a lot. A lot of people asked if I had gone to college, what I studied, if I did, if I was planning on going back to school. Um, and I did go to college. I feel like not a lot of people know this about me, um, but I was super, super academically focused for like most of my life. Um, my life kind of revolved around school and theater. Um, and I worked my butt off <laughs> in high school. I took all the AP and IB courses. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a full ride scholarship to college. I went to a very small liberal arts school in California and honestly, I did not <laughs> love it. So I got in and out of there as fast as I could. I did my degree in three years. I majored in English and minored in theater and I don't really use my degree at all now. <laughs> um, I do have one copywriting client that I guess you could say I use my English degree for, um, but for the most part, I don't use my degree. I am like thankful that I have it on one hand because I'm sure being able to say like, oh, I have a bachelor's degree and check that box on an application got me my first social media job. Um, but on the other hand, I've never really used anything I learned in college. I actually learned a lot more in high school because I did the international baccalaureate program and the courses were really fantastic. Um, but I don't use my college degree very much. I'm not planning on going back to school. Um, I thought about getting my master's for a while, but really only wanted to get it so that I could study abroad. Um, and now that I have a baby, that's <laughs> not really as feasible. So when slash how slash why did you decide to start making YouTube videos? Um, this is another question that I got a lot. I got people asking how I knew YouTube was right for me, what got me interested in it. Um, some people asked how long it takes to make money on YouTube and I could go into like, I could do a whole video just about this. But basically I've been obsessed with YouTube since I was like an early teenager. I'll insert a picture here of me at my first VidCon. And that's actually when I uploaded my first YouTube video. Um, and for whatever reason, I just didn't keep going, which I really regret now, obviously. Um, but I started this channel and started posting videos every single week and sometimes two videos every single week um, about three and a half years ago. Um, and I guess, I don't know, I've just always really been drawn to YouTube. I've always kind of watched YouTube instead of or alongside TV. Vlog content is my favorite content to watch. And so I grew up being inspired by all my favorite creators. Um, and I just at one point decided, I was like, you know what, it's now or never. And if I don't do it now, then I'm going to look back on this in 20 years and wonder like, what if I had started a channel? So I started three and a half years ago. Um, I love it so much. Somebody did ask, they said they were a student and they were looking to make some extra money um, and asked if YouTube was a good way to do that and it is not. <laughs> um, it took me three years to start making money on YouTube and that was three years of working on this channel like 20 hours a week or more every single week. Um, which didn't bother me because it was a labor of love. It was such a passion of mine and it didn't really feel like work a lot of the time, but it does take quite a bit of time and you also really have to invest in yourself and your channel when you're starting. I've been to so many conferences and panels and taken like master classes and all of that stuff was, you know, definitely a, a financial investment. But now I'm finally starting to see that pay off. So if you are thinking about starting a channel, my number one piece of advice is don't give up. Like just keep going because the group of girls that started making videos around the same time as I did, we were all like in a little community together and we would encourage each other and unfortunately, I don't know any of them that are still making videos now, which is so sad. Um, but the only way to know for sure that you're going to fail is to quit. So you got to you gotta keep going. That and make videos that people are actually searching for. That was my biggest mistake when I started and why it took me so long to grow. Check out the TubeBuddy channel um, if you're kind of interested in more of that. That's like the best resource, I think, for um, starting a channel. But if you guys want me to do a whole video on YouTube and how to be successful on YouTube and everything, let me know. I know I'm still like pretty small, so I don't know if any 
anybody would listen to me, but I have studied a lot. And so I feel like I know a lot about SEO and what kind of content to make and how to make good content and all of that. And it's something I'm really passionate about. So I'd be happy to talk about that if you guys want to see a whole video on that. What's the best part about being a mom? I think the best part about being a mom for me is just that, like Matt and I were talking about this the other day, your baby is such a big part of your world, but you also have all these other things going on. You've got friends, you've got family, you've got work or whatever, but for your baby, you are their entire world and they love you so unconditionally and you have the opportunity to create like magical moments in their life and you know start holiday traditions and take them fun places and like even just playing with them on the day to day like that makes up their entire existence and I think that is so special and a lot of pressure, <laughs> but so special and fun. Oh, this is a good one. Where do you see yourself in five years? So in five years, I hope that we are living in a house <laughs> um, and that the house that we bought, if it needed to be renovated, is pretty much done and renovated. Um, I definitely still see myself doing YouTube. I hope and pray that YouTube is my only job by then. My very ambitious goal is to have 100,000 subscribers by my 26th birthday which is in a year and four months from now. Um, and at that point it would be like really full time. Um, so I'd like to be doing that. Ideally, I would like to be living in California. Um, that's where I grew up and I miss the sun. <laughs> and I definitely see at least one more baby in our future by then. When do you plan to start introducing Rowan to some solid foods? Six months, not from now, Six when he's six months old. So two months from now. <laughs> oh, this person just asked, how are you? I'm doing good um, as I'm filming this. We're currently waiting on the results of the election, so that's scary. Not as scary for me as a white woman because I have a lot of privilege, but you know, still not the most fun time. But overall, I'm doing good. Rowan's had a good like last two nights of sleep and my family was in town last week, so they were able to help out a lot. So I'm feeling a lot more balanced and a lot less burnt out, so I'm doing good. What brings you the most joy? When Rowan has, he has these like face contorting smiles like he smiles so big that he can't contain it and it like takes over his entire face and he like wiggles that brings me the most joy what are your favorite hobbies or things you do when you're not watching Rowan um, I love baking I love home decor um, I'm a very artsy fartsy person so I like to paint and draw and do a lot of crafts um, I watch a lot of YouTube to be totally honest with you I'm trying to get into sewing I'm not very good at it yet but I've been really enjoying learning about it what is your least and favorite thing about being a youtuber my favorite thing is definitely connecting with all of you guys especially some of my videos that are a little bit more like raw and real like my gender disappointment video a lot of times I'll get like an Instagram DM of somebody being like thank you for making this video I'm going through this and this helped me a lot and I like these tips or whatever and that is the absolute most rewarding thing that I can possibly think of, like that I can help somebody else going through a rough time with something that I had a hard time with. Um, so that's my favorite part. I also really like just filming like pretty B-roll. That's another like kind of favorite part of it. And my least favorite part, probably just mean comments. Actually, I think somebody asked about that. I can't find it right now, but I'll insert a screenshot. Somebody asked how I deal with mean comments. And honestly, most of the time, I don't even give them the time of day. They don't deserve it. When somebody comments something nasty on your photo or your video, it says a lot more about them than it does about you. So a lot of times I'll just delete and block and that's the end of it, but it does bother me. You know, there have been days where I've gotten really mean comments and it just kind of like hangs over my whole day because I'm thinking like, oh, do I, you know? have a massive nose or am I fat or you know, whatever. So that's not the most fun. Normally it doesn't bother me too much when it's about me, but when people comment mean things about Matt or especially Rowan like that, I the mama bear comes out and I'm like, you get out, we don't want you here. How long did it take you to be able to be up and moving normally after birth? Um, I did unmedicated, so I didn't have an epidural making my lower body like numb. So I pretty much could get up right away. I was really exhausted and kind of shaky. So I stayed in bed for a couple of hours just while they were like checking him and we did our first breastfeeding session and all of that before I got up to go and shower. But if I really wanted to, I probably could have been up right away. That was like one of the biggest reasons I went unmedicated is because I didn't like the idea of not being able to move around. Okay, this is by far and away <laughs> the question that I got the most. I got so many people who asked, how many kids do you want or do you want more kids? And how many years apart would you want them? I definitely want at least one more kid. Um, um, we are kind of on the fence between whether we want two or three. I think we're just gonna need to see what feels right for our family once we have the second one. I think if we have a second one biologically and we decide we want a third, we'll probably adopt. As far as timing goes, I think when Rowan turns one, we'll start talking about it. Start being like, mm, do we feel like we're ready to start trying again? 
in, but I do want a little bit of a break between finishing breastfeeding, which I hope to breastfeed Rowan for the first year of his life. I don't know if I'll make it that far, but I'm gonna try. And getting pregnant again to just have my body <laughs> be mine for a hot second. I'm thinking probably two, two and a half years apart, but you know, man makes plans and God laughs. So you never know. Oh, I love this one. Would you rather hire a house cleaner or a personal chef? Definitely a cleaner. Um, I love cooking, so cooking is like a dream. Actually, my like dream would be to hire somebody to do all of the dishes after I cook. <laughs> that would be the best. How do you balance being a working mom? This is a tricky one. It is very, very difficult, and I couldn't do it, I don't think, if Matt wasn't home. He is able to help out with Rowan a lot, and I think just making the most of his nap times and turning work off when it's time to hang out with Rowan and turning family time off when he's napping and it's time to work and just kind of compartmentalizing but it's hard it's like i don't have a secret it's difficult how did you meet your husband was it love at first sight um matt and i actually met doing theater together we were in an outdoor production of taming of the shrew oh here he comes theater <laughs> da, 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 da. what would you say was it was it love at first sight it was more like oh she's really cute oh wow she's really young oh nope she's too cute <laughs> Yeah, Matt and I are eight years apart. And we found out like how old each other was. And we were like, nah. But then we started talking and we were like, mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Best advice for the first year of marriage. Don't keep score and try not to go to bed angry. Talk it out, you know, when you, when you can right away. How are you navigating COVID with baby and family members? I'm due in March. Congratulations, first of all. That's so exciting. Having a baby during all of this craziness is very difficult. <laughs> um, we didn't have any visitors when we had Rowan, obviously at the hospital, our hospital didn't let us, but even when we got home, um, we didn't see anybody for like three weeks. And then at three weeks, we did like an outdoor socially distanced, like you can look at him from six feet away. Um, and then when he was a little over a month old, we let just our immediate family, so Matt's parents and brothers, hold him with a mask and gloves, but we're still really strictly quarantining. We're not seeing anybody. Nobody's like been over to our house. Actually, that's not true because my family just came up from California. They crazy, crazy quarantined, like literally did not even go to the store to get groceries and then drove straight up from California, which is like almost a 24 hour drive so that they didn't have to stop anywhere and like stay the night. Um, so we felt very safe with that. So they came over and they stayed with us for a few days and met him. But other than that, like most of our friends haven't met him, which is sad. Um, and our extended family hasn't met him, but we're just trying to keep him safe and keep others safe. And I know this will pass, but it is difficult, especially when it's like, you can't, you know, call somebody for help and be like, you babysit while I work or whatever, because we're, quarantining. So it's been difficult. Um, I would say my tips are do what feels comfortable for you and your family. Make sure you're being smart about masks and social distancing and try to give yourself grace because it's hard to do this without help. Baby's crying. Hold on. All right. <laughs> We're finishing this Q&A with Mr. Rowan here. Hey buddy. I don't even know if you guys can see him or not, but he's here. He's hanging out. I'll just answer a couple more questions. When are y'all going to buy a house? If you guys are OG <laughs> subscribers and you've been here since before I found out I was pregnant, we were planning on buying a house this last spring, but then when we found out we were having Mr. Baby Boy, we decided we wanted to wait and save up a little bit more and get something bigger. The plan is to buy something this spring, hopefully, fingers crossed, and I'm really excited about it. I cannot wait to get into our own space that we can renovate and customize. Um, I'm gonna switch up my decor style quite a bit. So I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be an awesome, an awesome journey. It's been a goal that we've been working on for years, so. It's exciting that it's gonna come true finally. A lot of people also asked what I do for work. So YouTube is part of my job, um, but I'm also a digital media specialist, which basically is a fancy way to say that I do online marketing for companies. So I do copywriting, graphic design, uh, social media management, photography, videography, everything in that realm of like digital media. Um, and I'm freelance. I started my own business two and a half years ago in preparation to stay home with kids, hopefully. Um, some people asked what my biggest tip was for, you know, going full time with your own business and working from home. I am very glad that I started it as a side hustle and then waited until it was like a viable business and then took it full time. I totally believe that anybody can achieve their dreams if they work hard, but I also think you need to be smart about it. And so making sure that I had the clientele and I knew what I was doing <laughs> and I had kind of all of my financial ducks in a row before I quit my day job, 
which was as a social media coordinator, so in the same field, um, was really important and gave me a lot of peace of mind. So that's my tip for that. How long have you been with your husband? We've been together a little over six years and we've been married for three. Do you ever feel overwhelmed or like you're not doing a good job as a new mom? Of course. Of course I do. I feel like everybody does at some point or another. It's not a great feeling, um, but I think mom guilt is so real and I just want the best for you. So sometimes I feel like, you know, if I'm overwhelmed or I am not as patient as I want to be or I don't have time to do everything, like of course I feel guilty. I think you just have to know that you are the best mom for your child. Nobody can mother them better than you can and have grace with yourself because nobody's perfect. Everybody's human um, and they just love the crap out of you. Even if sometimes the laundry doesn't get done, huh? You still love me? I'm gonna go play with this little one, so I'm gonna end this Q&A here. I did get a ton more questions, so if you guys wanna see a part two of this video, please let me know, and I'll make sure that I film that for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys lots, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! -bye.